All right, hey everybody, Sam Co Workshop here, Jason Sam Kovac, and today we're going to talk about the off-road plus button in a Rubicon, whether it's a Gladiator like this, it's 2023 Gladiator Rubicon, or if it's a uh, Jeep Wrangler that you have that's a Rubicon model. It comes with the off-road pages, or the off-road plus button, and I believe in 2024, um, the Willys does as well too and that kind of stuff that you might have to check on that But if you have an off-road plus button, we're going to talk about what it does for you um, I found this here. It's kind of cool. I parked here because of this, but look at this Interesting Apparently somebody parked there too We are on a public land place here in Georgia and scouting for some new hunting places and uh, Look at that Parked right in there and buried in there and uh, that is pretty cool Check that out just buried and left and been there forever <laughs> but anyway so these off-road plus pages is button on here not the pages it brings up the pages so i keep saying that but um what does this this do for you this off-road plus button so if we jump in here we climb in so we're gonna have let's close the door for the beaming jinching and but we have right here this off-road plus button so let's start it up see what happens here we fire up the truck okay <clears throat> truck's coming to life um and uh so we just put this on let's just put on radio here so we're there anyway so um so we got our truck set up everything is here now if we hit that button right here in two-wheel drive when i push it, it just says you have to be in four-wheel drive to get it to engage okay it is a four-wheel drive only mode but what does it do when you're in four-wheel drive well it does a few things and it's important to know because this is a very powerful button for you so uh, and it does a lot of great things all at once depending on the trim level you have so uh let's do that but before we do let's uh put a comparison into here too first for a second no we'll do that all at once let's do that let's put it into uh let's just put her into four high okay so we're gonna put it into four high right here while we're sitting here we in there we go we're in four high so now we are in four high. You can see it says four high right there on the display. So in four high, we can engage this button. Now it's going to do a few things for us. First of all, when we hit it, what it's going to do is it's going to bring up the off-road pages. We'll show you in a second. But it's also going to change the shift points in the transmission and the tune of the motor, the gearing basically ratio. You're going to get much higher gearing. So right now as we're in just regular four high, okay, you can feel this okay I, I can feel this now when I engage that button and we hit that button four-wheel plus off-road button so when we hit this it is going to bring up these it's telling us traction control is off four-wheel drive plus is on off-road plus is on four-wheel drive off-road active and it's bringing up our off-road pages here so it brings up and sets in our pages here you got your drivetrain you got all your goodies here you got everything you need here pitch roll it gives you all these cool pages to see but what it's also doing here took off traction control you can see right there it's off on the screen so it does all this at once and if you have off-road cameras it will also engage them for you at the same exact time and have them ready i do not have any off-road cameras on this particular model um but it'll do all of that just by hitting that button. Now the shift points in the engine trance on this are much more, whoa, it's almost like being in four low. Literally, it's so much more torquey and responsive. I mean, I mean, you can't see that or feel that, but it's insane. It literally feels like I'm in four low. I have tremendous torque, okay? I mean, I'm barely touching the throttle, but the torque jump on this thing is just off the charts incredible compared to not having it on now if we turn it off for example we turn that back off traction control comes back on automatically your off-road pages stay up but now again okay feel the difference same amount of throttle press okay you can see it in the tack it's much less torquey much smoother and okay it, it's just it's not the same kind of thing that you're getting so you get a major shift in transmission and engine torque function by hitting this button now another feature we are in four high okay if i go and turn off traction control and i press and hold this button we got traction i'm still holding it traction controls off see if it'll take off electronic stability control is off okay that's cool we're in four high what if i try and engage my rear locker let's hit the locker to lock axles said shift into four low 
Well, I don't want to have to shift into four low. See, canceled. Uh, I don't want to have to shift into four low. What about this? The off-road plus button will allow me to be able to do that. So if I hit off-road, we activate that. We have traction control off. Everything is good. EC or electronic stability control is turned off. Watch this. Hit the rear locker button right here. Okay, so let's shift into four low. Okay, watch this. Ready? Simple little thing. Hang on. See, axle canceled. If I press this back on and then I press and hold this until it says ECSO or ESC off. Watch. Okay. Now, because I am engaged in off-road plus mode before I did that, I can hit the rear locker, rear lockers, or rear axle locked. I now have, as you see here, my rear axle is locked. So off-road plus allows me to use my rear locker in four high and not have to shift into four low like it told me we did. All right, so off-road will let us engage that. So now we're back to standard here. So if we turn everything off, we turn off the off-road plus the mode. We got everything off on there. We are in here. We are set. Attraction controls back on. Everything is good. In order to use your rear locker well, you're in four high like we are. I wanted to take this back to the beginning here to show you. Okay, see everything is unlocked. Everything is back to normal. What you do first is you got to engage four wheel or off-road plus. Let that engage. Okay, let that get going. It's going to turn off traction control, the whole set. There it is. Four wheel drive high is engaged. We want to press and hold this. Okay, right here. See how you get traction control back on? Then you got to do it again. Press and hold it again. Now it says off to get the electronic stability control off. See how that is now off? Now, because we are in off-road plus that you see up there, traction control is off right there, and ECS is off, and our button is lit up. We can now hit that rear locker, and we just lock the rear axle. Okay, to disengage the rear locker, hit the off button on there, it unlocks it and disengages it. So that's the system. So that's the features that you're getting out of that off-road plus. It's going to give you improved performance engine-wise for off-road use in 4 high, which we love. It is going to give you your, your off-road pages with all of the different accessories and things that you need. All your gauges. I love this page. I can see everything. You got your pitch and your roll and what's going on with the vehicle. You have all of that inf information right there for you. Um, and it will also activate your cameras if you need it. And it will also allow you to use the rear locker in for high. So it's a fantastic button. Such a powerful little tool sitting right there at your fingertips that not many people understand. Hopefully this video makes that a lot easier for you and now you know what it's capable of. Thanks for watching as always. We'll be back with more stuff for you soon.